here we go again. Libra. Fourth attempt. <laughs> Fourth attempt at doing your mid-November check-in reading. It is the absolute last of all my mid-November check-ins. So let's hope this is the last and final attempt. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Welcome to your November 15th through the 30th reading. This is your general and love life check-in and give a take about a week or so because I am late on your readings. My apologies. Uh, again, don't know what's going on here. This is my fourth attempt. Let it be good and final and let it be clear that resonates with you. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, I'm gonna pull energy oracle cards for your general over month uh, overview for the month, for the rest of the month, and then we will pull some Romance Angel oracles for your mid-month uh, check-in, love life for singles and couples. I'm feeling like there's a lot of confusion, a lot of fog around you guys. Um, if you've been having trouble communicating and you're overthinking a situation, I'm definitely feeling that energy for you guys. I feel like I've been stumbling over my words every time I attempted to record a video for you. Uh, something was going wrong and... and uh, I feel as though some of you may be afraid to see what comes up for you. So if you're new to me, <laughs> hello, welcome. Normally my readings don't start off this way. I hope you stick around and you double tap that bell when you subscribe. For those of you returning that have been so supportive, I just want to give thanks. Thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support for everything that you guys have done to support my channel i appreciate you guys so so much i am absolutely thankful for you guys so let's get started remember that this is a general reading not all messages will resonate with everyone take what resonates and leave what doesn't never force the message to apply so libra what are you so confused about i feel like you feel very stuck and stagnant as though you don't have resources or answers. You're not speaking up. I feel my throat closing up. <clears throat> and I feel that when you do speak up, it it sometimes ends in an argument, some sort of discord if it's within the family, if it's you hating your job, like hating to be there. Um, I also feel that some of you may not have like a real reason to hate your job. You just don't want to be there. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. I also feel that for some of you, you just feel lost. Like you don't know where, what it, like the next phase or chapter of your life is going to bring you when it's going to open up for you or what you're going to do with your life. You, I feel like there's no sense of direction for you right now. You're just kind of going with the flow, being purposely busy. And I say purposely is because you've taken on a lot of things that you probably don't need to take on so that you avoid getting to the bottom of why you've been feeling the way you've been feeling. And so that just brings about some anxiety and unwanted stress and energy. So I don't know what's going on, but let's get to the bottom of it, Libra. General reading, November 15th through the 30th. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. So the first time I tried recording, this did fly out. And I mean, like, it's somersaulted all the way across. And it landed in reverse this time. Once I said that what you guys have been feeling came out right side up. And let's see what this one is. Caring connection. So it is in reverse. I normally don't like to take the oracle cards in reverse, but it flew out that way for a reason. So caring connections if there's, oh, yeah, look at that. The thinking woman, the thinking man. These are generally the air sign couple, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. So if you are with another air sign, you're having a tough go at it in your communication, in your connection. You haven't been feeling um, very connected lately. I feel that things may have changed and some of you are overthinking rather than over speaking, if that makes sense. Rather than you guys speaking your truth and getting to the bottom of whatever it is that makes you feel uneasy, makes you feel, um, darn it. Yeah, makes you feel like, well, you definitely feel like there's a storm brewing between the two of you. This is like a very strong connection, an air sign couple or someone with air in their chart. 
you're both thinking and overthinking as though one like it's like the other doesn't know that there's problems one of you is thinking and overthinking a situation and not speaking up about it and you're feeling like the connection is lost here and i don't feel the other person is seeing what you are thinking or feeling there's a miscommunication here and there's definitely this vibe of misinterpreting the littlest things and the more you hold on to these ideas these feelings the situation the bigger that storm that's brewing is about to hit i mean it could be a thunderstorm or it could be a freaking tornado right yeah this feels like a breakup is eminent or big time fighting separation not feeling connected to your partner or spouse if this is a family situation maybe not so much relationship but like a family situation this is being at odds in a family like needing to make a family decision uh, about a specific situation uh, business or family but there's no communication it's all everything that needs to be said is being held inside it's just being replayed in your mind or them replaying it in their mind and when there is no clear communication that storm is brewing because nobody is saying shit and when it comes out it comes out in the form of resentment of anger arguments emotional energy especially if someone is drinking here if you're dealing with a cancer, because these are similar cards to cancer, and we have the chariot card here and the knight of cups, which resonate with the sign of cancer. Yeah, look, there is no communication. There is a delay in communication. What's, what's going to end up happening is you're keeping all these thoughts, these feelings, this sadness, this anger, this resentment, whatever it is in your situation or scenario you're keeping it to yourself and the more you keep it hidden the more you keep it to yourself and you probably talk about it with other people except the person you should be talking to about the situation so the delayed conversation becomes explosive and that's why there's a storm warning here because it's warning you listen if you don't take the time yep if you don't take the time to actually communicate at that moment, what needs to be said, what needs to be done, what bothered you, not something that happened six weeks ago, but what bothered you, this one I'm going to take, but what bothered you, you know, right at that moment, then all you end up with is resentment, is anger, is anxiety, it's thinking and overthinking. Meanwhile, one person is thinking everything's kosher, everything's all good, and the other one is thinking and overthinking, oh my God, they didn't call me back. Oh my God, they didn't do what they normally do, like completely overthinking a, a, a scenario, a situation. Yeah, I feel like someone here is already overthinking something to the point of breaking up with them. Especially... Oh dear. It's breaking free from addictive behavior, addictions. I feel like someone here has gotten closer to someone and they're starting to realize that there are some behavior here after everything that you've gone through together there's some behavior here that you thought would have changed once you settled down or once you got closer together but in reality this behavior that you are aware of be it like you know addictions codependencies um still talking to baby mama like spending too much time with baby daddy um you know sex addictions, drugs, drinking, smoking, making poor choices. I feel that one of you may have thought, well, yeah, see, you didn't want to see the situation for what it was, right? 
you knew what it was. You felt that once this got a little bit more serious into a full-blown relationship, partnership, that they would outgrow, that they would outgrow this toxic behavior, the bad behavior, right? But you didn't see that, you didn't see that happening. And enough time has gone by where you're just like, okay, time to move on. Time to let them know that I'm not okay with this. And in reality, what's going to happen is they're going to say, we've been together for X amount of weeks, months, years, and now you have a problem with my drinking? And now you have a problem with my smoking? You didn't have a problem with it before, so guess what? I'm going to keep doing me. I'm going to keep doing what you knew I was doing from the get-go. And that is going to blow up in your face. You need to get real with yourself and with them because if this was a deal breaker from the beginning, you wouldn't be together this far along. Especially if you didn't say anything from the beginning. What's this storm warning about? Yeah, you do have concerns about a person's behavior Habits, addictions, codependencies. You were hoping that they would have uh, been out of it. The way they spend their money, gambling. You realize someone maybe isn't the right person for you. There are definite concerns here that aren't being spoken of. And, and look, another person thinking, right? Thinking with no communication, right? Thinking, no communication, and what's the deal? Well, there's a concern another person in thought you guys need to speak up you need to take some time and if you're afraid to speak up maybe you want to ask yourself why you're afraid to speak up maybe you shouldn't be afraid to speak up you know what i mean i also feel that for some of you Getting out of this toxic behavior for this, whoever it is that's caught up in this, is a lot harder for them than you realize because you didn't realize just how bad the, the addictions, the codependencies, just how bad it was until now that you see them struggling to kick a habit, to, you know, save their money. Look, another message of concern. Seriously. So much concern here. But let's get to the bottom of this Nine of Swords energy. What's causing anxiety here? Sleepless nights. Worry. Shit. You guys. I can't make this shit up. Right? An overwhelming sense of despair. This is definitely more of relationship than business. It can be signs of a failing business. Maybe someone was spending and overspending. Um, you end up with tax collectors. You end up in the, in the red. Like, how is it that we haven't paid our bills? How are we still keeping the business running? You know, um, I feel like one business partner knows one side of the story. The other one's afraid to tell them what they don't know. And meanwhile, that person is holding back from the problems of the business you know, and, and they're kind of hoping that this is all going to work out and sort itself on its own. What it's really, what's really going on is that it's a storm warning, right? It's, it's letting you know in advance that shit's about to hit the fan, buddy. Wake the fuck up because business is about to go down if you don't speak up, if you don't act. And there's a lot of anxiety and nervous energy about whether or not you should tell this person. And yes, if this is your business partner or you are the head of this business with plenty of employees that think they still got a paycheck coming to them, they still got money coming to them this holiday season, stop. 
do the right thing. Let these people know what you have gotten yourself into. Rather than putting this away, I'm going to keep it out. And then I'm going to pull for singles and couples the way I did. Um, similar to your monthly love reading. But beforehand, I'm going to pull Queen of the Moon Oracles. We do have New Moon tomorrow, the 26th depending on where you're at in the world. I'm in LA. <sighs> Surrender to the idea that things are not going to work out, that things have to pan out a certain way. This is a card of progress when you let go of the reins and allow the universe to create the path for you. They are illuminating your path for you. You are walking through with your eyes closed as though you don't see the path and they're like, what are you doing? Follow the signs. Roadmap. We're illuminating your path. Surrender to the idea that, you know, everything should be perfect and therefore I can't let people know that I'm on the verge of shutting my business down, that I'm on the verge of breaking up my marriage even though we just got married or breaking up this relationship that we've been together for so long that things haven't been as perfect as people think it has been. Queen of the Moon Oracle, come on. You do have abundance coming towards you. You have to work out the kinks, work out... All the different scenarios and steps. As long as you, you are keeping everything in thought and not into action and not speaking it and not putting it into play, well, then the abundance is going to come to you as quickly as you'd like it to. It's going to take even longer because you're holding back. You're, I mean, I see the despair here. Sadness, despair, anxiety, sleepless nights, woe is me, stop feeling sorry for yourself. It's time to get yourself out of that stressful nature. Use the law of attraction to help you attract and bring in, especially with the new moon tomorrow, Everything that is abundant, everything that is for your highest good, for spiritual growth, and move on from it. So Libra, I'm doing yours a little bit differently because that's just what I'm feeling right now. The attraction card also came out, so clearly there is some attraction here with someone. So I'm going to keep this here because I do feel as though as it is more or less a love reading, a partnership reading. Yes, it can be about business and partnership, but I feel that there is a lot of silence in a couple here that should be communicating. That isn't being completely honest with each other because they're afraid of letting them know just how much financial trouble or whatever kind of you know issues there may be if someone's misreading um, comments situations let me have a card for straight up single libras please libra sun moon rising and venus signs let me have a card for libra singles card for libra singles express your love because you're obviously not doing it right you're keeping shit to yourself Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, especially if this is someone about someone that you have an idea that you have uh, been interested in or this is an ex because you didn't communicate and so you broke up already and this is already in the past. Let me have one for the couples. Retreat. It's time to take a break. Time to disconnect from the world. What is there to come? What is the next step? What should you do? Let me pull some cards for the singles. Express your love. Four of Wands. Yeah. Stagnancy. Ay, ay, ay. Two of Swords. Knight of Cups. Ten of Wands. What are you so stressed out about? Whether or not they'll take you back. You have to fix 
whatever the issue was, but you can't ignore what the issue was, what was from the past or your previous relationships. You have to break through, break free from whatever was blocking you so that you don't take that same type of energy to the next relationship. Or if this is a reconciliation that you don't bring it back into the same connection as before. I think that you're afraid that this apology or, you know, want or need for a new beginning reconciliation, I feel like it's just not going to go over well is what you're thinking. You have an opportunity here to communicate. You have an opportunity. I feel like that door is opening up for you. You're just not taking action, you know, to, to actually create it for yourself. Tell me about Libra couples retreat. The Emperor, King of Pentacles. Eight of Swords, there it is. Keeping yourself in despair. Self-imposed prison. There's the Eight of Wands right side up and the Five of Wands. So when you do finally communicate, there's a lot of strife. There's not being able to see eye to eye. It's being blind to the obvious issues between the two of you. One wants to have the upper hand over the other. The other ones, if this is about money and a partnership and a relationship, and it's like, wait a minute, you know, too many things are going on. You're overspending or you're this or you're that. There's just like a lot of energies here where there should be someone here who's like head of the household, man of the house, whatever it is, doesn't have to be a man, I'm just saying, because there's some very strong masculine energy here. Because you could be the female that's like wearing the pants and the family and the relationship, right? Doesn't mean anything against the man or anything like that, but definitely very, you know, strong energy here where it's like, listen, this is what needs to happen. This is how we're going to make ends meet. This is how we're going to get through this. But we need to, you know, put in a plan of action. And you're just not in agreement. You guys are not in agreement with each other in terms of what the next step is or how to properly spend money or how to, you know, whether or not you should take that job, whether or not you should move, buy a house, buy a car. It's like, this isn't the right time, right? This isn't the right time. And so you're not communicating clearly with each other. Okay. Two of Wands there again and Nine of Cups again. Okay, so be careful of the drinking over the holidays. Um, you know, it could push some of you to that breaking point of retreating away from each other in terms of you go your way, I go my way. We need a break. We haven't been getting along. There's too much discord. People are thinking and overthinking a scenario and you're just like, well, I thought we were meant to be together, but maybe I'm meant to be single. Maybe I'm not meant to be in a partnership or relationship. Definitely someone here needs to get their drinking under control. So if they were in recovery at some point, they are about to fall off that wagon over the holidays. I'm FYI, fair warning, have a real, real conversation about that with whoever it is that you may have in your life that you know just gets bad with their drinking, that gets like crude, rude, bad attitude, like doesn't give a fuck who they hurt or anything like that, okay? And it will cause so much anger, hate, resentment, you know, within a family or at work. I'm just saying Christmas party here. You don't want to be caught drinking in front of the bosses and they're just like, oh, so that's what you really do on your time off. You know, here we thought you had your shit together, but you're a drunk ass and you're going to lose, you know, this company money. You're going to, you know, you're not fit to run this business or you're not fit, you know, to keep this going. So just be careful of that. You know, if you are the one going to a company party and you bring along your wife or your partner or your spouse, have an agreement before you get there about the drinking. That's all I'm saying. Don't do it while you're there. That puts people in a bad mood. You don't want, don't, don't bring your coworkers into your, your drama, right? Don't. Keep it divided. Okay, I wish I had a better reading for you, Libras. This is kind of funky. I don't know what's going on with you guys. Let me pull, um... Eight 
Angel Tarot. Let me just have a couple cards of advice to close out this reading. Seven of Earth, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action. And what does it say? Unnecessary worry. There is no need to worry. Things are working out. Things are manifesting. You just really need to be careful with the choices that you make. Things that are said in front of others. Again, the emperor is here. Archangel Michael. Organization and logic. Structure and discipline. Leadership. Along with the six of waters. Memories from your history or childhood. Issues regarding children or romanticizing the past. So, if you know someone, if you know someone gets very emotional when they've been drinking, um, if you know that someone has been going through some emotional tough times, have a heart to heart. Definitely don't stay separate in your separate corners. Open up, speak up. And if you're afraid to speak up, ask yourself why. Is it that you have this internal block that you don't want to divulge too much, you don't want to be vulnerable, you don't want to speak, or is it because they don't give you the space or the time or understanding for you to speak? In which case, you know, A, get over yourself and face your fear or else you're never going to heal from this. And if it's the second one, right, where this person isn't giving you space, then that's how you need to start your conversation. Listen, we got we got to talk about some serious stuff, but I need to know that you're going to be open and willing to hear me out and that you're not going to dismiss me. I need to know that you're going to hear me out, that you're going to help me, that you're going to be there for me. And if you can't, cool. At least I know where I stand, right? Sometimes that's just how things need to be approached. So to close out this reading, let me pull healing oracle cards, the heal yourself oracle card. For Libras, oh my Libras, what's blocking Libras? What do they need to heal so that they can move on? What do they need to heal and release so that they can move on? Selling out. Okay, so... If you're just going with the flow and going with the crowd, uh, going along with whatever anybody says, you, you're you not standing your ground. You're not being your authentic self. You know you're not. You're just doing enough to get through, right? You're just doing enough to survive, to make ends meet, to make relationships work. You're doing enough to not lose any more friendships, relationships, or whatever it may be. Apply it to your situation, but in this case, you need to take a minute to realize how that makes you feel, how that makes you hurt by selling out, by not being who you are truly meant to be. You're shortchanging yourself. And let's be honest, you're shortchanging the world by not honoring yourself because we all have something great and wonderful and amazing that we bring to the table. And so if you're holding back your greatness... How does that help you? How does that help your partner, your spouse, your children, your family, your friends? How does that make you feel? So don't be afraid to answer those tough questions. If you want to, you know, keep living in denial about certain things that you're meant to live a mediocre life, well, then that's where you're at. Right, Libra? Okay, and if you don't want to live that life, do something about it, right? No one's holding you back but yourself. You have the power to change things. So here it is, Libra. This is your mid-month, November 15th through the 30th for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please hit the thumbs up button, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember that within the next couple weeks, you will have your December 2019 reading as well as your 2020 yearly forecast, your future predictions for the year 2020. So be sure to double tap that bell when you subscribe so that you get notified of your yearly forecast. Thank you guys so, so much. I wish you a beautiful November and a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you once again. Have a wonderful November. Take care. Bye.